In spite of this year's BC Arts cuts, the local and international creative community has the chance to shine while the Olympic Games come to town. With over 600 pieces of art spread across the Lower Mainland for 60 days, the Vancouver Cultural Olympiad threatens to be an overwhelming experience. So, the UBC spent one day gawking, criticizing, and even licking our way through as much artwork as we could find. Um, we have this sculpture here, which is um, supposed to symbolize new China and modernity, although um, a lot of spectators really don't know what this is. And you won't even guess that, you know, you're supposed to look at yourself and it's supposed to be a distor distorted reflection. Totally. <laughs> but it's sort of like, in some way, it's like you see yourself in like, a, you know, five different places at once and then you see like a whole bunch of other people's bodies being like pushed on top of yours, mm. which in some way is sort of how people feel about modern China. It's like this weird combination where you're trying to find your own space on, to on top of and sort of mix with everyone else's space. You should have said this. <laughs> And what people do is they get on the buses and they sit with a pen and every time the bus moves they, they just let the pen like jerk around and then they mark the different stops and what was happening. So it's a sort of um, automatic gestures that allow them to mark what was happening without putting any of their um, like personal influence on it. We got sidetracked by the, uh, <laughs> by the aliens. Which was like probably the best thing that's happened to me in like weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, and now we're gonna go find some some cultural Olympiad art. Let's go. <laughs> so this is an art piece by Faisal Anwar. It just it's called Odd Spaces, and it's basically a live feed of all these different places across the world, Vancouver or even South Asia, and. It's a very interactive digital art piece. So this is behind the projector where you've got projectors um, shooting out onto the screen just like in theaters when you see yeah. fancy uh, shows. And then you've got computers behind each one which control each screen and um, a lot of audio. We're on our way to wrapping up the Cultural Olympiad Marathon. It's nighttime, we're looking at the night works now, and we're currently at Q at the Vancouver Art Gallery. Brendan, what do you think about the art? I think it's great. It's like it's like Andy Warhol's most boring videos, like the screen test and sleep and empire, but it's like a cute puppy. So it's it's like Andy Warhol and Jeff Koons all rolled into one and it's really dumb, but but look how watery the puppy's eyes are, right? And for those of you at home who don't know what he just said, what he said is it's very postmodern, which means it's not about very much at all. For the Ubisoft, I'm Kate Barbaria.